A very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to the people's forum of in the streets with big stone as you know ladies and gentlemen i took some time out from reporting incidents or a situation like this because after doing them over and over again it becomes troubling to your heart but this one ladies and gentlemen actually brought me out of retirement and I'm back again vlogging to see if word, sound and power can really make a difference in my beautiful country. As I took to the net today and I, and I look at the star and I saw Evangelist wants no mercy for child killers. Remember Jamaica has the most bar and church per square mile in the world. Yes, they're in the Guinness Book of Records. And when I see the sign, Evangelist wants no mercy for child killers, then I know my country is really at an all-time low. The rules of Exodus 21 to 24 is what should be applied to the killers of Yetania Princess Francis, according to one Seventh-day Adventist evangelist. A visible upset, Janet Martin said that the eye for an eye scripture should apply as he believes that unless the ruthless killers get a dose of their own medicine, the crime will will not decline. Even Garnet Silk said in one of his songs that no mercy should be given to the merciless. If me can't live comfortably in my house, you can't live comfortably in your house either, he said. Francis partially burnt body was found last Friday morning after she went missing last Thursday night. It is said that she left home to purchase food at a nearby cook shop and did not return. Her body was found behind the church in a section of the Arnett Gardens community in Kingston. It is also believed that she may have been sexually assaulted. The clergyman also blasted some of the women from the South St. Andrew community. I remember when another child was killed in her home and another woman come out and speak against the family saying that they were telling lies on the man them. And see, this incident just proved that it wasn't a lie. All of these women who sit down and on it and do nothing will be punished for what happened to this little girl. These killers are some of them, men or sons or just friends, he said. I don't understand why. Martin, who spent his early years in Honor Gardens, said that he didn't understand why his mother handed over the keys to her home to another female resident and relocated to a one-bedroom house in another Kingston community during the 1970s. When she got the keys to her house from National Housing Trust, she gave it to a woman and tell her, take it. It was 11 of us and we asked her why and she just tell us to bite our lips and we will eventually find out. Now I understand why. She was actually protecting her children from incidents like this, he said. The 54-year-old evangelist who worship at the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Portmore, St. Catherine, is re-emphasized that he's all about the eye for an eye scripture. The father of seven said he often wonders what could motivate a union to arm women and children. I'm really hurt about this killing, he said, while blaming the government for the spiraling crime rate. Martin said that while many will lash out at his opinion, he's not bothered and hoping that there will be some form of divine intervention in the very near future. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the brutal rape and murder of a 14-year-old little girl known as the Tanya Francis and popularly known in the community as Princess. She was a very beautiful young, beautiful little girl. She was doing extremely well in school and I saw the pain and the hurt and the mother. Then she said later on that night she heard sounds and then she smelled like somebody was burning a dog and she couldn't uh, couldn't even understand that she smelled her own daughter being burned. Jamaica, we need to close the gap. We need to pick the scabs from those old wounds that we have. Those vindictive feelings that one carry out, not just on children, but on their own friends and family. We're begging you, this 
situation has reached the pinnacle of wickedness and we need to find the perpetrator or perpetrators who have done this heinous act. Jamaica, let's start loving each other. Let's start going back to when it takes a village to raise a child. Thank you very much for watching and I do hope you can have